LSU, Baton Rouge, Heath and Taylor had 1074 yesterday. Good limit of fish today. You need 1183 to take the lead. Is he going to be in there? Oh, I think so. He thinks so. 1415, biggest limit so far today. New leaders, do you have a big fish in there you want to weigh? It's 562 from yesterday. It's not going to go that big. We'll take those out, show them off at the camera as we have a lead change. Keith Pinnell and Taylor Knowles from Louisiana State University weigh in over 14 pounds today for a two-day total of 24.89 pounds. That mark set by the two anglers from LSU leaves the day one leaders needing just over seven and a half pounds to take back the lead. Robert and Luke, y'all didn't upgrade. They've only got four. Go ahead and set them in there. Needs 765 to take the lead. They had 1725 yesterday. Those four, just short, 751, two day total of 2476. Guys, run those off the stage. I want to talk to one of y'all here real quick about how the day played out. Had the lead on day one, falling short a little here on day two. What's the motion like as you just witnessed it? You're not going to have the first place lead anymore. Uh, it, it stinks. We had to, came up a little bit short and only had four, so any keeper, we would have been there over, over a pound. So. Face a little adversity today, guys. Tell me a little bit about maybe something that you learned. You know, it's, it can be humbling sports sometimes to go out there and do what we do on a weekly basis. Talk about that. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, the lock, it'll get you sometimes, and that's the risk we were willing to take because the fish we had to win were down there, but we only got a fish for them for an hour and a half, so we caught four and headed back up here and couldn't figure anything out on the lake. But. And when the scales closed, Keith Pinnell and Taylor Knowles from LSU win the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open, edging out second place by just over one-tenth of a pound. Robert G. and Luke Byerly from the University of Tennessee end the weekend with a runner-up finish, and Griffin Fernandez and Zach Manaback from top-ranked Adrian College take third. We were lucky enough to take away the lead, and uh, we held it throughout the event. We weighed in one of the first flights, and uh, we were able to stay in it. I, I can only have words right now, really, but uh, it's awesome. And uh, our sponsors, we couldn't thank them enough. We wouldn't be here without them. Along with the lucrative prizes and contingencies handed out to the top finishers at the APCO Collegiate Bass Open, teams also earned valuable points towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Here is a look at the top 10 ranked teams in the nation following the first ACA event of the season. Adrian College maintains its lead with a season total of 7,285 points. McKendree University moves into second, closing the gap ever so slightly between them and top-ranked Adrian College, and Auburn University drops back one spot to be ranked third. It's huge for school of the year with us um, leading the school of the year race right now to um, finish where we did. Uh, a couple of our other boats struggled this week, so we're just happy that we were able to uh, be pretty high up there in the standings and uh, get some points for us going into uh, next uh, spring.